Hello, my name is Will Branny and I'm a senior data and AI technical specialist at IBM. I've been with IBM for about 15 years in a variety of different roles, mainly specialising in business analytics and business intelligence software solutions. Today, I'm really excited to be bringing to you a demo of our latest offering called IBM Analytics Content Hub. Well, a new offering, I hear you ask. Well, absolutely yes, a new offering, and this one doesn't even have Watson in its name. So what is the big deal? Well, in 2022, we introduced Analytics Content Hub specifically to solve an analytics challenge facing many organizations today. And this challenge is data silos. For instance, an organization might have marketing using Power BI and finance using planning analytics, and there's no easy way of getting the information on the same page without exporting and importing it into a common platform. Which means the data is actually underutilized by decision makers and knowledge workers are not often able to take full advantage of what data could be available to them. And not many organizations have actually been able to consolidate all their analytics requirements into a single tool, and many are managing multiple solutions. The result is that with multiple solutions, it's difficult to access consistent information, and there are increased challenges in cost controls, user adoption, and people actually wasting time recreating reports that already exist. So IBM have specifically addressed this challenge by introducing the all new Analytics Content Hub. The Analytics Content Hub serves as this single entry point for multiple analytic tools, allowing users to seamlessly browse through content regardless of its point of origin, respecting all entitlements and security of the connected tools. The Hub provides a Netflix type browsing experience with favorites, recommendations and previews allowing users to see all their content at once using a consistent interface. Not only this, but it can allow you to create composite dashboards, merging data from analytic tools into a single page. And just take a look at this list of connectors. Analytics Content Hub supports a huge range of data connectors, ranging from business intelligent platforms such as Click, Looker, MicroStrategy, Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, Salesforce, to IBM solutions such as Cognos 10, Cognos Analytics and Planning Analytics. And we also support content providers such as Box, Google Drive, OneDrive and SharePoint. So just think how much information you've now got available at your fingertips from a single entry point. So now let's take a look at the product with a quick demo of the key capabilities and why I think this tool is such an exciting proposition. Here is an example of how an enterprise portal could look. There is a clear and easy to read welcome page with further tabs on the left hand side. If you go into edit mode and open the theme designer, it's really simple to change your theme using the wide range of properties on the right hand side. Content can be added to pages using layout elements on the left hand side such as embedded viewers, content lanes and images. This shows that the Content Hub is completely customizable, allowing you to create themes that completely match your corporate branding. Moving back to our homepage, the first thing you see is a summary of all your organization's analytics content across file types and data sources. In this example, we have a mix of Cognos Analytics content from an on-premises instance, as well as content from a cloud instance. We also have web sheets from Planning Analytics, and later on in the demo, you will see an example where Microsoft Power BI and Cognos Analytics content is together on the same page in a single composite dashboard. So let's explore what you can see here through the eyes of a consumer looking to make some discoveries. The first thing I'd like to show is how important it is to have awareness of all analytic material in your organization. For this reason, favorites are a quick and easy way to bookmark content that you open frequently. Simply selecting a thumbnail will open an item and you can interact with it just like you can in its original tool. For instance, with this Cognos Analytics dashboard called Coffee Operations, which I've favorited, I can filter on store name and go into edit mode and modify the dashboard and save my changes back to the portal. Content Hub is using my own credentials, so I have the right to do that. Analytics Content Hub takes the portal experience to the next level by allowing items to be rated, commented on and tagged, which again 
makes assets useful for other users and promotes asset reshare across the organization. Let's rate this asset five stars and add some tags. Scrolling down to the section which says you might be interested in these, we can see that interest will unlock more and more value because Content Hub analyzes your interest to provide the right content to you. And in your profile, you can set your interests for this tailored experience. And in this example, the interests are sales, marketing, telco, retail, and coffee. And this is really valuable to you as a data consumer as it makes you aware of other analytics content in your organization that appeal to your interests. The search capability allows you to search for more content across your organization. And searching gives you the ability to really find content from all data sources that you've configured. So let me search on a keyword such as expense. Unsurprisingly, as a Cognos Analytics technical seller, I'm not using Power BI or Tableau or Click in this instance, but if I were, then they would appear on the left-hand side under sources. And we can also filter on type and rating as well. Again, by selecting a tile, you can interact with the source content. Now that we've had a look at some of the key features of data discovery using Analytics Content Hub, let's take a look at another use case. Now this use case is the ability to create views across multiple BI tools by building composite dashboards. This is an example of a composite dashboard that a user, Jim, has prepared. Jim is interested in telco data as he's trying to create a dashboard for his marketing director. In this similar dashboard are key metrics that are housed in Power BI and also marketing information from a different data silo in Cognos Analytics. He doesn't want his marketing director to waste time logging onto two different BI tools, so Jim is gonna show how easy it is to merge the two together into a composite dashboard. The first step Jim will take is open the application designer and create a new tab. This will be a blank canvas where Jim can add his information. Next, in order to add content, Jim has two options. Firstly, he can explore various elements and add these to his page. And as you can see, there's lots of different content to add here to customize the page. Got viewers, explorers, images, etc. The second option is to search the content files. He could search for the dashboards, reports, explorations that he really wants to include on the page. But before Jim does that, he can add a title to the page. You can see there are lots of different options for customizing the look and feel of the dashboard. Jim drags and drops an image to the page and moves it to the top. And the next stage is to bring in some key metrics. And there is a specific file that Jim knows he wants to add. This is from Power BI and contains a monthly recurring revenue metric. He renames it so that it's clear this information is from Power BI. He then goes to the properties of the tile to change the look and feel. He can then search for and add further content searching for telco and adding more Power BI dashboard elements showing sales revenue and a number of customers. He's also added a Cognos Analytics dashboard showing key information around the physical network infrastructure. Jim repeats the process and this time adds a Telco Power BI dashboard to his composite page. And even though the data is from different sources, he's formatted the page so it has a common look and feel. And the only thing indicating that the data is from different sources are the titles shown the sources of the data. Jim then saves his changes to avoid having to start again. And his dashboard is now visible and available to his organization based on security permissions. So as you have seen, the ability to add content from multiple sources into this single dashboard without having to recreate anything saves Jim and his team time, leaving them the resources to actually make decisions based on the insights they have found. So how do you find out more? Well, Analytics Content Hub is available now as part of the Business Analytics Enterprise License, which is a combined offering of Cognos Analytics, Planning Analytics and the Analytics Content Hub. This gives you a full end-to-end -end business analytics offering for planning, budgeting, forecasting, 
as well as dynamic business intelligence, all underpinned with the Analytics Content Hub. However, we've also recently announced that you can also purchase Analytics Content Hub as a standalone offering. So please speak to your account manager for further details. So that's it from me. Thank you for your time and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay.